Nirmala Shrestha. Did you know that most of the planets of our solar system are named after some Greeks and Romans gods? With one exception, our Earth. Some planetary discovery officially claim it to be Indo-European based. And the photographs that are taken from this space suggest that our Earth is somewhat blue, calm and serene and has got somewhat spherical geometry. Did you ever expect someone would refute such a well-established and proven hypothesis of ellipsoid shape of the Earth? Just bringing back into life the flat Earth hypothesis all of a sudden from stone? Yes, not just one. There are millions of people who are embracing this false hypothesis. And there is this flat earth society, led by some flat earthers, who strongly believe that our earth is flat. Followed by some high profile artists, celebrities and models. All the flat earthers do not believe in one model of flat earth. Flat earthers purport that earth has no gravity. The photographs taken from the space are photoshopped. And NASA was established in order to keep the information is under wrap. Hence, we were curious to know what drives those people in order to believe or in order to take into arms certain unscientific and baseless hypotheses. In this document, we aim to put an emphasis on whether or not we need to address this issue. Excuse me. Yes? This is supposed to be a group project, right? Yes, of course. We wrote the script together. Why are you doing it all alone? Because I waited for you so long. You didn't show up. So it's high time we started. So I did it. Okay, okay. It's my bad. Hello, guys. It's me, Denuan. So then, at this point of time, let's assume that we are all amateurs in science. And let's have a discussion. So, are you ready? Yes, of course. But we need to maintain social distancing. Okay, so let's just erase everything that we have learned so far out of the shape of the earth. Oh wait, what? You want me to erase everything that we have learned so far? No, I, w I want you to erase the everything that we have learned out of the shape of the earth. Okay, can I have an eraser? You said like erase or something? Uh, I'm afraid I can't. I don't think such an eraser exists. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's start. Okay. So, at this point of time, I assume that Earth can be at any shape. So, I will show you different possible shapes of the Earth. Okay. And finally, you have to pick one, which you think is the right one. Okay. Mmm, the heart shape is so pretty. I think I'm hungry now. It looks so tasty. Oh my god, it feels like... The dinosaur is farming humor to satisfy its hunger. Look at that spherical one. So beautiful. Oh, that's a flat one too. Okay, let's just stop here. Okay. Now you tell me, which model best suits your imagination? No, it's so easy. Look at that. Flat. So, Earth is flat. Yes, of course, it's flat here. But you know then on, I want to show you something. Come with me. Okay, see. The surface is wavy. Do you think the horse is wavy? Okay, see. The surface here is tilted. Do you think the horse is inclined? How about the spherical shape of the earth? Do you think the earth can be a spherical shape? You're telling that can be like this? Yes. In this case, here you can see the curvature, right? right. If it is a sphere, we would be able to see the curvature. But the earth, we can't see the curvature. Yes. But this is a sphere of small radius. Okay. I have another sphere of bigger radius. See? Just hold it. Okay. And I have another sphere of even bigger radius. You can see 
the sphere with small radius has got bigger curvature. So as the radius increases, the curvature decreases. Okay. And okay. our Earth has got radius of around 6,000 kilometers. Oh. So if we compare ourselves with the size of the Earth, we are very tiny. Oh, so, I see your point. Mm -hmm. So, it's not possible for us to see the garbage of the Earth from ground. Oh, it's because the Earth is very big sphere. That's mm -hmm. what you're trying to say? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. How can you explain something falling down? Like this? They mean an apple falling from an apple tree? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Did the apple really hit the head? No, just the ball. <laughs> okay, so you know, as I already mentioned to you, that the Earth has got radius of around 6,000 kilometers. So, Earth is very large relative to, you know, if we compare with ourselves. So, the ball, you just hit mm -hmm. that, that is very small, mm -hmm. smaller than us. So, the mass of the Earth is very significant than the mass of the ball. So, would you mind bringing that ball? So, this ball, uh, the Earth has got significantly large mass than this ball. So that there is the force of this force of gravity that attracts everything towards its center. So that mm -hmm. everything falls towards the center of the Earth. So, if you compare these two pens, so they have almost equal masses mm -hmm. but they did exist gravitational force between two of them but since the mass is not that significant so it's not they cannot feel the force oh okay so it's the force of the gravity okay so the earth is the mass is like so high that's why all the things attract into that thing mm -hmm. but if it is uh, if, if they are like small masses if they are not attracting into that Okay, that explains a lot. I want to mention one more thing which I forgot earlier. You know, the curvature of the Earth is clearly shown in the photographs of the Earth that are taken from this space. Photographs taken yes. from this space? Mm -hmm. I don't believe in those photographs because I haven't been to space. I haven't seen those in my eyes. Those photos, photographs could be photoshopped. Who knows? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, how can we believe something that we haven't seen, isn't it? That's my point. In that case, I want to share an incident with you then. Okay. Some year back, a guy told me that I have a liver inside of me. Okay. And I didn't believe him. I haven't seen liver, my liver. And how can I believe that I do have a liver? It's so obvious, right? Because you are a human being. Every human being has a liver inside their body. We can see it by dissecting a corpse. Haven't you been to those like medical exhibitions and haven't you seen those uh, human organs like real ones? Yes, of course. I have seen a human liver. But you know what? I strongly believe that I am different than any human that exists in this world. And my internal organs are completely different. Okay. In this case, what we can do, we can do insertion of you. And we can prove that you have a liver inside you. But I want to see it and you know prove it that I have a liver. Okay, in that case, we can take some photographs and we can show it to them, show it to you later. It's so easy. I told you that I don't trust anyone. What if the photographs are photos of? Mm. Okay, I got to a point, I think. A survey shows that 2% of Americans strongly believe in flat earth, while 80% of them have no doubt about the spherical shape of the earth. Then, 20% around 65 million of Americans need convincing explanations with proof. Flat earthers seem putting their best step forward in order to make this 20% join their community. They have been organizing conferences since 2017, reaching out to the general public, trying to convince them and spreading hoax to public platforms. Affirmation data is only of the most developed nation USA with 99% literacy rate. Just imagine, we have 195 countries altogether. It's not very clear why these people believe in, believe in this model. However, 
Some of them seems to be guided by the religious background. And interestingly, we notice that some people really don't care about the flat earth. They just found a good welcoming community in the flat earth society which they didn't find in general. The leaders of this community seem not to comply with the spherical shape of the earth, even if proper proof is shown to them. They just deny it without proper arguments. Let's go. We're ready to launch. You ready, Craig? James, how are you? Okay. Okay, so what's happening here right now? Okay, this is the boat base target, it's horizontal stripes. Uh -huh. We're going to launch a small boat out into the water here with a striped target. Come on, Betty! And as it gets farther and farther out, you'll start to lose the stripes. One way that Aristotle proved 2,000 years ago that the Earth is a sphere was with a boat test very similar to this one. As a boat approaches the horizon, it appears to slowly dip down into the water before disappearing completely. That's got everything to do with the curvature of the Earth. If the planet was flat, the entire boat would remain visible. So it'll be a very visual depiction of the curvature of the Earth. At first, all the stripes are clearly visible. But sure enough, as the boat reaches the horizon, the stripes begin to disappear one by one. It's pretty amazing. You can actually see it pretty clearly with this camera here. And you see that the red stripe that was at the bottom has completely disappeared. And it's now getting closer to sort of the middle uh, green stripe, yeah. that is. So we've lost about one and a half stripes. Right. So this can only happen. Why? Because of the curvature of the Earth. So here's what we were shooting. But Mark Sargent and the other flat earthers have a very different interpretation of the results. So you don't think that what we're seeing is actually real? You think it's because of yeah. heat? Yeah. Oh, absolutely heat. Absolutely heat. Absolutely heat. Absolutely heat. Does anyone here on flat earth believe it's a globe? It's still flat. No, it's it's anyone? Not, raise a hand. It's not a pair either. Looks like they are being benefited somehow. Could be the elusive of popularity, leadership, or maybe benefited directly or indirectly. It is understandable flat earth believers need more and more people to be influenced to the society. So they warmly welcome whoever wants to join. We appreciate the right to expression. But big conspiracy movements like this on a hundred percent scientifically proven fact may create hurdles in our face forward. And they are trying to engage more and more young people and students. And those people who belong to this society are neither stupid nor abnormal. We're all normal people. We're all normal people. We're all normal people. This is need proper guidance. And we should teach our young generation to think critically and have proper judgment on such conspiracy theories instead of believing some random statement. That's the reason why we chose to talk about this in the first place. Now you tell, either we need to address this issue and stop this movement once and for all, or just ignore it. What do you think?